You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. Cool and uh, kind of chilly today as we start we get through our Tuesday of this work week. It, it's only Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's check in with Patrick because it sounds like down the road you've been teasing a little bit that uh, we're looking at possible winter weather. Yeah, we will have some winds picking up tonight, but the main action for winter weather will come next week as you may see our first winter storm of the season. Looking outside right now, the sky is clear. Any clouds in the mountains have disappeared. This is the view from the Deer Creek Highway camera facing the Chico area and the sun still setting off in the distance, although just a, a smidge of sunlight out there. Not a lot. You will see the stars tonight, but we will have winds picking up this evening. So windy tonight and tomorrow, sunny and mild this week, although we will have a weak system arriving at the end of this work week. We will have another more potent system arriving early next week. So here's what we have for our winds tonight, gusting up to about 25 to 30 miles per hour by tomorrow morning. So you will notice it as you're walking outside to start your day. That'll die down by 430 tomorrow night with gusts up to about 15 miles per hour. Temperatures this evening will be in the low to mid 40s. Some of those winds coming from the north are helping elevate those temperatures due to the down sloping effect where the air is being compressed and therefore heating up. Tomorrow, highs top off right around 70 degrees. This is a couple degrees above average for this time of year. Even with those, even with the sunshine and the warmer temperatures, we will still feel a little cooler given some of those windy conditions. As we head into the middle to end of this week, a very weak system will pass to our north. It'll bring a chance for clouds on Thursday and a few coastal mountain showers to some parts of our region, maybe even breaking through into this northern Sierra. I don't think we'll see anything in the valley Friday morning. We'll clear out nicely and dry out Friday afternoon into Saturday, but things change as we head into Sunday evening where we, a system starts to roll through, bringing a chance for some heavy rain, wind, and mountain snow. The next several days, you don't have to think about that. We are seeing temperatures in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. For the most part, a little cooler on Thursday as that system moves through and that cold front slices through our region. But we will see temperatures Wednesday night into Thursday dipping down into the upper 30s. So it'll be a chilly start to the day then. This weekend, temperatures hovering right around 70 degrees, but that next wintry system does move in by early next week. There's still a lot of details that need to be ironed out with it, such as rainfall totals, snowfall totals, and the exact timing of the system. So that is something to keep in mind as you're planning for next week. But as we get closer, we will iron out all of those details.